We glorify your name because right from the beginning, you have brought him onto this earth. You have never left him for a minute that your enabling grace will be here and direct with this affairs in the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty Father, when Papa we want to look back, we want to we will be glorify you for all that we have been able to do in his life. Father, accept a thousand praises in the mighty name of Jesus. As we are starting this reception now, Heavenly Lord, we pray that all that we are going to do here will be honored by you. And at the end, we will have you all to glorify your name. Thank you, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Praise the Lord to the nation and the kingdom. A man we all refer to as a motivator, high chief, leader of Odo Kingdom, Premier Olushala Ogutime, OFCCCA. I'd like to, on behalf of the organizers of this event, thank the Almighty God who has made this day possible. The journey of 90 years is a lot. Let me also thank everyone who has come here to celebrate with this most distinguished Nigerian. I'd like to especially welcome the father of the kingdom, his Imperial Majesty, Oba Doctor Victor Adesimbo Ademefu Kiralejo, CFRDSE Jilo III, Oshimawe, and Paramount Ruler of Ogo Kingdom. Evania, by you! Kamesi, thank you very much for all that you do to make this kingdom great and your contributions to our good country, Nigeria. Let me also welcome this very amiable and dashing Oluri. Oluri, comfort on Laika Kiranito. Thank you very much for standing by our king. The funny thing is that even though um, I'm not a son as a father of the I see all my kids and as my kids. That is the first thing. Thank you very much. And I know you know that from the depth of my heart, I'm grateful to you for everything that you do. You see, which ladies and gentlemen, now, how are you welcome to the Father? May I also take this moment? to welcome the governor of RDSA, Presidency Lucky Oweyusuf Ayeda Zima, represented by the Honorable Commissioner for Information and Orientation, Mr. Adewani Akio. So to thank you very much, Presidency, for joining us at this event. I'd like to especially as well welcome Justice, sorry, the chairman of this occasion, Chief Ruben Fabri in Fashionty, OFA. Let's put our hands together for Papa. The very very leader continues to age with grace. Thank you very well. Thank you very much, Papa. I'd like to welcome as well the Justice of the Supreme Court of Nigeria, Justice Henry. Thank you very much for the great works that you do. May I also respectfully welcome a member of the House of Representatives, Chief Abiola Makinde. Thank you very much. My privilege as well to welcome a reviewer of the book that we all are gathered to launch, to present and launch today. 
former vice chancellor of Adekule Ajashi University, Kuku, Professor Femi Ibiko. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's also my honor and privilege to welcome the leader of Ileruji, IG Father Ruth, representing Kari Sizi of Ileruji. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, my privilege as well to welcome the all of the University of 
Professor Olufemi Mimiko, MNI ORE. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to give the indulgence of uh, I thought that I did to stand on the protocol that has been established by our company. Uh, they are trained to do that, and I don't want to go into the uh, arena for a bit that I'll be allowed to to stand on those protocols as established. But that said, I'd like to also give the indulgence of the audience to particularly uh, recognize Papa, the chairman of today's occasion, Papa Ruben Fashion. We thank you, sir, for what you represent uh, to us. We pray the Almighty God will continue to strengthen you. I had the honor of giving Papa's 97th birthday lecture about two years ago. So I, could, I suppose that Baba will be close to 100 now. Thank you, Baba. May God continue to strengthen you. Uh, I also like to greet my most regards by you. I like to greet my most regards by you. And I like to greet my most regards by you. Thank you so much for everything you are doing to the palace of Yoshima. Uh, I also very quickly recognize the celebrant of today, uh, the distinguished high chief sir, senior commissioner of the minister of all the people. Uh, congratulations once again. Uh, I pay my research to the minister, to the honorable, to the commissioner, to the governor. Uh, uh, later, Mama Obitine himself spoke with me and uh, ask me to do this review. I want to thank you, sir, for considering me worthy to review a book you have put together. Uh, my attitude to a book review is such that I would like to say a lot to watch the appetite of those who are listening to me, such that when the book is unveiled, everybody will rush to buy a copy. And indeed, that I also ensure that I do not say too much, so that after my speech, you don't say, well,
connection and linkage with people, Baba was able to get a number of things done, including the manner in which he procured his international passport, where he had to travel abroad at a time when it was not as easy as it is today to procure the international passport of Nigeria. The last of the things, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, is what I characterize as sensitivity to timelines. In a man of destiny, you encounter a man who, has, who is adept at locating the appropriate time to do everything. He knows the time to study. He knows the time for him to go abroad in pursuit of the proverbial golden fleece. He knew when to get married. And he also knew when to relocate to those states, having been elected and appointed as the Lisa and Prime Minister of Ondo Kingdom. In this book, we also encounter some amazing dimensions of Baba Lisa's personnel, which together make his life a lesson in good. In September 18, 1961, Baba began a job. He began to work. And he was not only employed to start working second day that he arrived, he also came with a new car. When you place that, when you do suppose that to what happens today in terms of uh, the situation of the economy, I think Baba should have spoken a little about the way the economy and politics of those times were organized, such that such a thing was possible. I don't imagine that it's possible anymore for any of the Gen Z people now to graduate school on a Monday and start work on a Tuesday. So we need a little. So what I conclude is that Papa probably is going to write the next book. And I look forward to that. On that note, I'd like to very quickly make my final comment. It is a comment to all of us that it is important for us to write as many of us as possible. Any little experience you have, especially those relating to accomplished professional life, you should put together so that we be guided, so that the children of tomorrow will be guided. Because we live in a time when values have migrated. Some of those values that held our society together are now lost. And so we need people to write so that the children of today and tomorrow will see those great values in place and will be able to guide their own lives as appropriate. On a final note, let me close this review on a line that I'm most enamored with in the book, A Man of Destiny. It is a testimonial on the totality of the persona of High Chief Simeon Oguntimei, issued by no other person than Chief Obafemi Awolo. SANG CFR, a man I consider the best of them all. 
who by any stretch of imagination could not be considered frivolous. According to the author, at the opening of a theater house, the corporate building of Zedo Social and Company in Ibadan, on April 10, 1986, the former premier of Western Region, appropriately described as the best president Nigeria never had, pointed to Chief Simeon Ogutime and said to somebody that see that man going, if you want a man of dignity, loyalty, and honesty, that is he. I commend the autobiography of that same man, so aptly described by Chief Obafemi Awolowo, High Chief Sir Simeon Obishola Ogutime, OON, FCA, KSC, JP, Lisa and Traditional Prime Minister of Hondo Kingdom to you as I congr congratulate the non nigerian once again on the grace of God upon his life that has seen him live an exemplary life and made of himself a standing role model to younger generations of Nigerians, Africans and indeed humanity. Once again I thank uh, Abaye, uh, the, uh, the celebrant and the senior ladies and gentlemen for listening to me. Thank you so very much. Shall we put our hands together for the reviewer of the book? Put your hands together, please. Thank you very much. Of course, I said to you that there are some things virtually everybody here wouldn't know that you would find out today. I found out so many things from that review. Thank you very much, Professor Miko, for um, accepting to review it. Okay. Very quickly, we will unveil the book. Once it is unveiled, then the presenters, then the chief launcher will take over and every other person will also present, speak to the book and of course launch it. I invite His Excellency, the Governor of the New States, Lucky Oribison, I get that to him, to step forward, represented by the Honorable Commissioner for Information and Orientation, Adewale Akinozutu, to step forward with everybody at the responsibility space to unveil this book. Your Excellency, I'd like to invite the chairman of the occasion, I'd like to invite celebrants, everybody in the responsibility space to step forward for the reading of the book. I guess thank you. And of course, to be assisted by the managing director of the publishing company. <laughs> I chief Father Lee, Chief Mark Lee, Professor Billy Cole, Justice of Wu with you, Kabezi, or my lady, be fair. Your chief lodger, your excellency. the royal father of Ondo Kingdom, your majesty, Oba Adesumbo Kiladejo, I greet you, sir. To the celebrant of today, Baba Mokiwo, this is the day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and being glad in it. We thank God for this day and on behalf of the Governor of Ondo State, His Excellency Loki Oribiso Aye Datiwa. We are performing the unveiling of this wonderful book but I know the governor is here for that responsibility. But as a true son of Ondo Kingdom, I will ask my father to 
please, please control the unveiling of this book. Abaye, Kabiesi, I cannot be, you cannot be here and I'm representing the government. <laughs> Kabiesi, thank you very much for granting me the opportunity to do this. Oluri Mokiwa, God bless you. Professor Femi Miniko, MNI, ORA, Mokiwa, God bless you, sir. Uh, to the chairman of today's occasion, our father and revered and amiable father, Pa Ruben Fasharati, God bless you, sir. Now, my job is very simple. And to the KBSAs that are here, the only of Ife, I greet you, sir. My job is very simple. We've been asked to unveil this um, wonderful book that has been written as an autobiography of our father. Ladies and gentlemen, you will agree with me, looking at our father today, that he does not look 90. 90 really, really looks good on you, Baba. God bless you, sir. And we pray that in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, that you will celebrate your 100, you will celebrate 110, and according to Professor Mimiko, quote from the Bible, the book of Genesis, you will celebrate 120 and beyond in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, ladies and gentlemen, we unveil this book. Kabiesi, please, if you can help me to hold it. <laughs> we unveil this book in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I wish to request that everyone here should pick a copy and raise it up for the cameras. Finally, you will now see the book. Very beautiful book. I will tell you how much each one will cost later, but this book is beautiful. So distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the chief luncher should please come this way. Mr. Um, Tyler Ojo, please come this way. This way, please. This way, yes, yes. Representing Prince Adewale Adebayo. Thank you very much. So, shall we take pictures? as it's now obvious that the book is in the public space. Happy birthday, High Chief Simeon Omushala Ogutimei Oren. Thank you very much, God bless you. You may return to your seats. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like to, at this point, invite a few people to present the book. And that's a way of speaking to it and, of course, launching it. I begin with the representative of Chief Oluwaki Gubesi I'd like to invite his son, Mr. Kune Akikube, to step forward for his presentation. This will be I think I better just... Uh, the celebrant of today. The protocols have been very well established by the representative of the governor of Ondo State. So I crave your indulgence to stand on those established protocols. I'm speaking on behalf of my parents, Chief 
Olu and Mrs. Janet Akikube, who have prepared a written speech for me to give on their behalf. My wife and I wish to congratulate you, sir, on your 90th birthday and pray that you will continue to receive God's abundant blessings. Your life's journey has been studded with significant events and achievements right from the time that you entered the prestigious Ondo Boys High School through to your training in accountancy. You established yourself as a diligent and competent professional who worked in the interest of the client and the country. After retiring from active practice, your peers elevated you to the position of president of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria. You also later accepted the invitation to serve on the board of ICPC, where again, your expertise as an accountant was a valuable asset. This service was appreciated by the Federal Government of Nigeria by the conferment on you of the National Honor of Officer of the Order of the Niger. All throughout these periods, you served on several corporate boards and gave generously to the course of the development of human capital of the country through scholarships and mentorships. Your place of birth, Ondo, has also been a beneficiary of your wisdom and excellent interpersonal relationships and has rewarded you with the highest elective title in the Ondo Kingdom, High Chief Lisa, the traditional Prime Minister. You and your wife have been blessed with a good family of accomplished children and grandchildren who are a source of pride not only to you but also to the rest of the country. Only two days ago, you dedicated and gifted a church building in thanksgiving to God for his munificence to you. The foregoing only serves to illustrate how worthy your professional colleagues, your country and his royal majesty, the Oshimawe of Ondo Kingdom, have found you to be. But I believe my wife and I have also or also have a special and treasured relationship with you. We have enjoyed an intimate relationship for over 63 years. This relationship is marked by mutual affection and trust, with both of us having the highest regard for one another. I can quite easily go to sleep if I have given you a task, knowing that you will do it to the very best of your ability. What has also gladdened my heart is that our children have also been able to go to each of us as fatherly figures whenever they need sound advice on whatever matter and they know they will always have an empathetic reception. The years have not diminished this affection and for every day the Almighty gives us. I pray we can continue to enjoy this special relationship and watch it continue into the future generations. As the elder brother, I have had to agree to celebrate you from afar. As you have said, you would worry about the toll the journey could take if I attended the ceremony as I would have greatly desired. Only your personal entreaty as this time, at this time has kept us away from supporting you physically. 
once again, we congratulate you for reaching this milestone in your life's journey and exemplified in the OBHS school motto, Probitas Nationem Extolit, Righteousness Exalts a Nation. Now you can relax, find beauty all around, as there is love at home, according to our school anthem. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, Chief and Mrs. Akinkube have instructed a small token to be transferred in support of the launching of this book, which has been done a few moments ago. I congratulate you on the launching of this book and commend it to each and every one of us. You will find it excellent reading. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, let me say that the transfer scared even me. It was account shaking. Thank you very much to Chief Akinbe and his wife for that very fantastic support for the book. I like to invite to the responsibility space the Otubo or the Sacheria of Odo Kingdom, High Chief Johnson Odushala Adedu. Please, um, the Sacheria should take a seat at the responsibility space. Let me also invite the representative of former governor Obudushe Dominico, Grand Force is Chief Inonjo Ogirio Sa, as he steps to the responsibility space. I'd like to thank you very much, ma'am, and Cabo, thank you very much for joining us. Let me also welcome Gaddafi Lobby. Hi, Chief Mrs. Oyedele, thank you very much. Welcome. I'd like to welcome all the locals, one after the other. We're grateful for your presence. Um, I'm sure that once their names come to me individually, I will do appropriate recognition. Once I welcome all the locals in the building, thank you very much. We're grateful for your presence and for all that you do to make Ondo Kingdom beautiful. So, Mr. Mrs. Ladies and Gentlemen, we move on to the presentation and I'll begin with the Chief Marcher, Prince Adewale Adewayo, who is represented by Mr. Phillips Diamond. Thank you very much for coming to the Chief Marcher at this event. About you. Our amiable father, Pa Fashionati, greetings to you, sir. Mommy, the representative of Supreme Court, Ma, you are welcome. Professor, thank you very much for the review of this book. All other protocol duly observed. On behalf of our um, Adewale Adebayo, who is not physically here now, but promised to visit Baba anytime he's around. Daddy, we congratulate you. This is a rare thing in human life. We bless God for your life, sir. Uh, on behalf of Prince Adewale Adebayo, he is donating. Uh, it took a sum of one million naira to support all this. Thank you very much. Thank you very much um, for that support for the project. Thank you. I'd like to invite Chief Abiola 
Dubai <laughs> One ten, one twenty, one fifty. Abba Allah, I just want to say one eighty. You, God bless you, sir. The chairman of the occasion, our own father, Reverend by Fasherati Mokeo. Allah, I can one Supreme Court Justice, mommy, I greet you, ma. Prof, I greet you, sir. My brother and the representative of Mr. Governor, Honorable Chief, I'm a little bit from what you can see. I just thought to do for your call. Honorable Dr. Wale Akilo Soto, Mokio, Akabiasis, Mokio, by Mokio, Allah Akio. My own brief. Uh, to launch. Uh, well, undisclosed amount as a public servant. So I think that is good enough, right? So, well, uh, that um, we would donate handsomely and powerfully. Do you agree with me? But it's undisclosed. Thank you and God bless. I've always trusted Chief Franklin's words, and I know that haven't made a pronouncement. He said, handsomely. I know what that means. Thank you very much, Chief Bakili, for supporting the project. I'm going to ask one of the actors to step to you to take it that spot. Next, to support this project is Honorable Justice Henry Kukumu Biju, a woman of amazing, excellent grace. Beautiful by all descriptions. Thank you very much. Thank you. Adiope, but I'll quell it. The Lancery Brands, Baba, Lisa, Moki Wasa, many happy returns, sir. Oh, do I need to be a new York? Oh, do I need to be, sir? Let's say I didn't go be. No, what did they want? Thank God, no. Baba, chairman of the occasion. Thank you very much for coming, sir. We are very grateful. And all members of the responsibility, that's a new one for me, responsibility space. I greet all of you. Um, I'm not going to be like everybody. You know, when you give a lawyer the mic, you know, you expect a bit of talking. So, and I'm going to make one or two comments. When you write your autobiography, you want a permanent record of your life to teach others what you went through. That is not just one day that you woke up and became a big man. You had to go through some processes to become a, a, a big man. You have to pass through the fire. You are reformed to be the best of what you have now become. That is what that book, this book is all about. I've skipped through the book, was just given to us, but I've looked through it, and it's, it's something that we should buy for ourselves, for our children. Those of us who have adult children who will learn from the contents of the book. And 
it's important to make this point that um, Baba Lisa all his life has been known for excellence and the point is that diligence is the mother of good fortune from the, the from what he, uh, Baba Lisa stated throughout the book he has been diligent all his life so we should learn that characteristics of diligence is not just to to read to write a book it's for a purpose and his own voice this is what my life has been this is the struggles i've had to go through these are the, my, my joys and triumphs and i've always admired baba lisa and his family the wife and the children he has been able god has given him that grace to 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 have a fantastic family life and wonderful children to god be the glory great things he has done and um, having said that I launched the book with all my big big grammar and all my big big words and other things accompany it thank you very much thank you very, thank you very much Justice Senate says of you and of course she shoots straight thank you very much for all that you do I know that the entire Supreme Court will be very well to you. But of course, as justices, you will not discuss. However, let me put some people on notice. I will not accept, I will not disclose. The, I will not disclose ends with honorable uh, all justice or who will be Every other person I call will disclose by force by mind. And I know who I'm looking at, and that's no problem. So, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, next to um, present and launch this book is the chairman of the West Local Government, Honorable Chief. I will today accept all of these. I'm sure you know that those that will not accept. Um,
So we'll go back to the government library. So we will take, we'll take two months from here. Thank you very much, Mayor. I'm uh, sorry, you have just murdered me again. I am a proud, I was a proud student of Old Dover High School, where my uh, sister graduated from. Uh, I also want to purchase two copies for the library of Old Dover High School. Thank you very much. Give me the third one. And when you come, please wear a gosh of sweet in the library for that library and the entrance of the city. Thank you very much for the library. Thank you. Representatives, the academic himself is going to support this project in two capacities. First, as academic Imanjo Obiriosa. Second, as representative of the Excellency, Dr. Ushek Lindo. Thank you. 
past presidents who will also have a role for this event. Thank you, sir.
microphone because as you can see I stand here on a number of platforms as a son, as a publisher of the book, Make We Publish It, with good acknowledgement to the printers that I did a fantastic job at a very short moment. Academic Press PLC, fantastic. And of course, with a great deal of support from West African book publishers, great deal of support. But well, this book that we worked on, a man of destiny. This book is one of the best books that I have worked on, and I have not been biased as a son. I have learned in at least. 70% about my father by working on this book. I wish I had submitted myself to him to be mentored directly by my father. But this book serves as a great deal of mentorship. And as I said to some people, a definition of faith is in this book. It talks about what I would refer to against all odds. And so, of course, definitely as a publisher of this book, I recommend that you pick up a copy and learn a lot. And because of an author myself, at the end of each chapter, I have taken recognition of what can be learned from the life of a man of destiny. And so you are able to learn even more. But even beyond that, about a hundred people have written about their experience with High Chief Sir Simeon Olushola over to me, who he is to them. And so this book, which all together, including the pages that are not numbered, is 550 pages, which documents history. So I do recommend it to you. And I thank you as we move on to the next segment so that you can enjoy some music and also continue with it. Thank you very much, Colin Gutime, Managing Director of the Publishing House. Let me welcome Ayo Deji, Emmanuel Akinoji, Governorship Candidate of the, all of the AGP. Thank you very much for joining us. Well, we're moving to the cutting of the birthday cake. Indeed, everybody in the responsibility space, may I humbly request that we join the bar at the birthday stand, birthday cake stand. Professor Miniko, please. Justice Ogun, would you please? Please let's move to the birthday cake stand. The hard back of the book is 45,000 naira, while the paper back is 25,000 naira. Yeah. I hand over the microphone to Her Majesty Dilu. Okay. 
know by I think I buy the idea to celebrate people while they are still alive. When people are dead already, celebrating them, I don't believe in that. So Baba, you mean a lot to us in this kingdom. You are a father, a philanthropist, and an energetic man. At 90, you are still looking vibrant. We celebrate you today, Papa. You are, a, you are somebody that is a role model to this kingdom. You are our pride. We love you, Daddy. Look at this cake for you. It's, it's very colorful. Your life will be very colorful. You will continue to live longer. And you will not have to sit. You will be like the palm tree, planted beside the still, the, the river, that brings forth its fruit at the right time. You will continue to see your generation, children's children, in good health, in joy, and in happiness. Happy birthday, Daddy. Lay your hands on the, put your hands on the knife. As I count one to ninety, please, can you tell me in counting from one to ninety? to do was go and hug my dad and say I love him. I said, mine goes beyond that. That's too small. So I don't just want to say I love you, dad, and off I go. If I had to, I, um, I don't even know. If I had to write a book or say something about my dad, I'm sure we'll all be here. And so I think about it. Who is my dad? He's a workaholic. I've always known him to be one. My dad is loving. My dad is, we've been talking about integrity, sometimes to an annoying level, annoying to me. I'm like, Dad, please, for goodness sakes. And um, another thing I know is um, he loves God. He loves God, and there's something to what I said. I said, some of us say we are born again, but I have a living, full, in fact, full time, I don't know. His faith is so strong. Sometimes even I say that can, some, can one person have this much faith but he's a man of faith sometimes i say dad give up he'll say no i'm going to do it so when he says i'm going to do it then i say okay if you want to do it and uh when we were at the scholarship yesterday you know they were talking about uh, men paying attention to their children i have always known my dad oh dear so now he cannot listen i want my dad to listen to me so i'll stop Please, this moment is for the children alone. Let us allow them have the moment, please. We respectfully request that you return to Papa later. This moment is for the children. We have created it specially. I'm still here, yes. That um, talking about my dad, you know, we say all the time, I tell my dad a lot of the time, I say, I don't tell you I love you as much as I should. Because you are a good man. That is just the fact of the matter. And my dad is 90, of course we all know. And he still goes on his fast once a week. Sometimes I'll say, 
that, and he has done it for years. He said, no, I have to do it. You know I'm not going to eat. So when we talk about faith, when we talk about loving God, so it's not just about, let us say, I'm a Christian. And um, saying that, don't you know I'm a Christian? No, that's not his life. And he has a sincere heart. Like I was saying before, there are some things he does that I'm like, that. this is getting to the ridiculous. He'll say, don't worry, it's fine. Then another thing is, my dad, I said it, my dad is very resilient. You cannot stop him. When he wants to do something, he'll now keep quiet. But when I now get to a state that, no, dad, you are not going to do this, he'll say, okay, if you say I should not do it, but I know that he'll still think, oh, I would rather just do it. And he's very intentional. I wrote again that my dad is fiercely loyal. When he, his relationships with people, he never lets go. When people he has dealt with, when they pass on to glory, their children, everyone they leave behind, he doesn't just abandon them or leave them. He has people that have died maybe 40 odd years. He's still on it. When they are doing things, you say, oh no, I have to go to this. And my dad is somebody I know, even as he is sitting down, I tell him that I cannot do it. My dad will make Lagos Ondo day trip. I said, I'm sorry, I cannot do this. And he's still bouncing. Praise the Lord. And he's so strong. Sometimes when we go out, you have to actually jog after him. Because he has gone. So where he gets the strength from, I know it's just the grace of God. Because sometimes, if not that he knew when he was born, we are going, we'll just even doubt it that this man, he cannot be how old he says he is. And he's very sacrificial. Very, very sacrificial. Some people bring demands and you're like, see, but he will put others first. That's what I know about him. And he's very, very kind. He's very kind. He's very loving. He will take us wherever, whatever it is we want to do. He just lets us do it. Like before I was interrupted, I was talking about when at the scholarship we were saying about how fathers should play a part in the lives of their children. As far as I can remember, every school that I have gone to resume, my dad will go. And not that he had nothing to do, very, very busy. He'll leave for in the morning, sometimes 11 p.m., 12 midnight, he'll come, but he'll go. No matter where, he followed me to Abraka. He, in fact, I don't think there's anywhere they do not know my dad. When I went to do my master's abroad, he was the one that filled the form, did everything. When we got there, they said, oh, so this is the man. So he just, you would think he was a student, very intentional, and he just tried to do the best he can. So that's why many of our friends now, they know, you know my dad, because he will ask, he will pursue it, he just does not let you go. And the same thing for his grandchildren, great-grandchildren. My dad will not go to bed. If you do not, he does not hear your voice. I'm sure my siblings know. And if for one reason I'm tired, I said, let me not call this man today. By tomorrow, he'll call me. He'll say, I didn't hear you. You didn't call me yesterday. So that is the man that he is. And my dad, I love you. You are very precious. Thank you very much, Mrs. Biela Tayoye Sibo. Thank you very much. Next is Mr. Kola Oguti Mehi. Okay. All right. Step to dad and tell him you love him. Okay. Next, Mr. Tule. And the branch and the Just tell Tell him you love him. And that's it. The grandchildren should get said, this comment to you all the grandchildren at once. The grandchildren, all the grandchildren, please step back quickly. We need to do this. And finally, they say it's a bottle of Michelin now. Thank you. Okay, so I've achieved my purpose with the children. Thank you for being very good children. 
fantastic ambassadors, please bring eye contact. All the men, okay. one after the other, you just have your ring. And as you watch, you hold that and you are done. Thank you. Who's next? Who's next? Abu. Who's next? You are Tiri Lua. Great grandchild. Cameron is a great grandchild of both. Next. Tommy Wong. Thank you. 
Babalisa Oteu Oeu Omo Ueu Ueu Ikilegu Ye Bamu Te Ye Ke Ye Mokie Baba Mumabai Yo 
because we are pride not only to the kingdom but to the to humanity as a whole I thank God for your life. Your life is, the, is that of dignity. You are a child of destiny. Oh Lord, let me add to you, Baba. When they are anti from Pai, they go to for the professor do what to. They are our politicians are anti what to. They Baba chairman what do they do? They what do they do? They do. Hey, so can you to have a to Pai? I want S C N the lawyer anti to. It's what of ever to what I can't buy to a mobile. You call you tell me no me do only for a dead old do or long or long or long or long. I will look for a more better better be a list of old do kingdom. And I can say with pride that you are trust, you are a trustworthy man. The traditional institution is concerned. I want to specially thank you for that. Uh, when the date is son, she has to book a son. See you. We are coming from a year. On do, don't don't have to book a son. See, they they are why you are buying share yeah. I want yet to pay ninety. They they want to pay ninety. Then they are united loy. They get better than Prada. See, you book pay one. They can go and fool. You book pay now. You are at Lafia. Now I consider my mobile yo. I don't want to pay loy. They will call Jesus Christ. They will know why. Uh, to be represented by his commissioner, His Imperial Majesty <coughs> of our Dr. Victor Adesimbo Kila Adejo, the Oshima Way and Paramount Ruler of Ondo Kingdom. My dear Oga, he was my last teacher 70 years ago, and by the grace of God, at the age of 98, he was is here physically to be the chairman of my 90th birthday. I can't express my thanks more than that. Mine is just to say thank to somebody is still going to give a vote of thanks. But I have been asked to say a word of two. First of all, I have the honor and grace of God to thank the Almighty God for preserving my life up to this age. And I will implore people to try to go through this autobiography publication. People will know more, and more about me and why the book is titled Man of Destiny. Virtually chapter there will portray and say why is this man a man of destiny. I know what the position now is this country, even to have this population I'm having here is a surprise and again part of my thanks to the Almighty God. You have come all the way from far and wide to honor me on these joyous occasions. May the Almighty God honor you more and more than I can express. I do appreciate you all. I thank my KBC planning the time, even on the bad day on September 12th. When he had traditional function to perform, he still squeezed the time and make sure. He 
was at the occasion of the 12th birthday and the child dedication. You are a leading example in this country and probably that is why everything is going on very well with you in this country, in this, in this, in this city. You appreciate you. We thank you sincerely. You are a mother in one. You love every one of us and everybody likes you. Allah and do to you. And you can have a mouth. My yoga, I cannot thank you enough. Dating back to over 70 something years now. You are my last class teacher, 1954. His Excellency, even though he was not able to be here presently, but he's simply represented by a commissioner in his cabinet. My thanks to him and my deep appreciation. Probably when I have time, I will phone him again and probably give me a ring. Representative of um, Prince Adi Wale Adibayo, I thank you very much and I actually appreciate. He not only sent you here, even his television in the last three days, he has devoted it to capturing events. My compliments to him and my appreciation to him. Our dear Senator, I saw him around just now as he gone. MHR, Atu Lushe of Ondo, MHR, as he gone. All right, I thank you all. I thank everybody. I thank my wife. I thank my children and thank everybody that has hand in the success of this celebration. And you know, Ada Bao, and you know, I've been night here tonight, you, Nino and Lafia, and Nika Bamao, and Shu, Beji Bami or Lenny, Ayaba Nio, and Nika Bamao, Modupo, and Bilotu, and Bilosi, Modupo, and Shu. I love you. I'm going to go home and find a seat. I'm going to be talking to you all. And I say, once again, I thank you all. And do appreciate you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
Thank you. 